Hi everyone. Today looks like an alarming vlog. <laughs> I'll give you context. I just got home from acting in a haunted house. Um, uh, I'm not going to go into super detail about that, but that's why I have all the makeup on. Um, I was dressed up as a handmaid, which is, <laughs> or a handmaiden, which is actually kind of funny because like, <laughs> no way is this chick getting pregnant. Sorry, I'm on uh, shots that make that never happen. So, uh, yeah, I was a, hand, a handmaiden, and we had to wear a pig mask. It was a Twilight Zone concoction of stuff. If you're local, it was part of the first parish um, Bedford haunted house. So um, if you went there, I was the tall uh, handmaiden that was yelling at everybody at the end. Uh, because we had, obviously, like, a big habit on and then we had um pig masks on so i was covered up with the habit like the habit kind of goes over so you can't see anything and then i had the pig mask on and the black which got smudged for my pig mask because these were like symmetrical <laughs> stuff um but you can't like see you can't tell who is who there was four of us that's the whole point of handmaidens like they all look the same the whole thing is about conformity and all that kind of stuff um, and then we were matching wearing, we were matching wearing lipsticks and then today for some reason decided to do, uh, Joker smiles. And if you see, actually, well, yeah, I'll bring that up, but <laughs> these are key words that I kept forgetting <laughs> when I was doing it. So I've never acted in the, um, first parish, uh, haunted house before. Um, I'm not an actor. I vlog, I do things live, I just talk, I don't prep, I don't memorize things really. Um, you can tell when I do my neighbors know when I memorize things, but I'm just not really all that great at it. So I guess the, um, the biggest thing I wanted to just talk about today, um, and not too long, cause like I'm so tired. <laughs> my feet hurt so bad. Um, but I guess this vlog is for like the fact that it's October, so it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so like pink. Um, not only do I have pink nail polish on, but I have pink nail polish on, as you can see, with ribbons on my ring fingers. Um, is that insane? Where's the camera? Right there. I have ribbons on my ring fingers. Oh my. One on each side, because like, whoop, I had it on each side. And yeah. So that, um, so yeah, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and there's pink everywhere. So I'm mean, wearing like a, like black stuff and a handmaiden's thing. I'm like, yay, no pink. <laughs> uh, the other thing too is like, I'm going to be 52 in two months. Um, actually a little bit less than two months. And, uh, tonight was a perfect example of reminding me that some of my health issues have nothing to do with breast cancer or treatment. They have the fact, to, or they, what they have to do with is the fact that I'm getting older. So I guess this vlog is mostly geared towards people that are in that phase of their life where they're going through menopause and just getting older and your body reacts differently than how it acted 30 some years ago. Um... So yeah, that's where I'm going today. Uh, I did have my fitting for runway, but I'll talk about that in another vlog because I actually still have to go back for my fitting. Um, that's another story. But what I wanted to talk about today was uh, me doing this acting thing for the haunted house. Um, like I said, I've never done it before and um, I'm, I'm a ham, like clearly I don't mind like being in front of people. I actually like enjoy talking to other people and the vlog thing just happened because of all this drama and stuff. Um, but I like that. I, I like the, the theatrics behind it. Um, <laughs> uh, it's fun to play like a different character or something that where it's not like you. Um, memorizing is hard. So I'll, I'll, I'll throw that, I, I guess part of that is, uh, part of that is is age um for me a bigger part that i've noticed is from medication and stuff uh that you just can't remember stuff as much like you used to i i, I would never was an actor like i mean I, I didn't like do school plays that kind of stuff like at all that's not my thing so i had a couple ones to memorize and i kept flubbing them all the time i'm a math person not an english person um and i had a little like index card and i'm like i can't look at the index card so what should i do and like I had to point 
this is a spoiler, by the way. So like, if you don't want to know the secret of why, I, how I memorized all my lines and air quotes, um, I asked one of the other handmaidens to write some keywords on my hand because I was pointing that way. So like the audience couldn't see the side of my hand. And when I had my hand down, my handmaiden cloak covered it. Um, but yeah, I don't use big words. Not that they're super big words, like focus is not a super big word, but sanctity, like when do I ever use the word sanctity and realm? I'm not an English person. I don't like read a lot of books. Um, so yeah, focusing on the sanctity of our realm is not a sentence that I would normally say. And I got tongue tied quite a bit. Um, so I did this to kind of get myself back out trying my extroverted self. I have tried that a few times to go back to my new normal or whatever. I seriously hate that phrase. Just trying to figure out like what my life is looking like at this point um, with the post breast cancer process. Like I, I'm a little bit more than two years out from diagnosis um, and double mastectomy. Um, I had another surgery. We're going on what nine months ago so like it's not super fresh although what was weird was uh, at the end we were like pointing all the time look at that whoa jelly woohoo at the end i was pointing a lot and um one of the times i pointed i actually had a jabbing pain in in here which i haven't had for a really really long time um but my body is not used to doing that for 1500 people and i'm not exaggerating i think that's what we had i think we had 900 and some odd tonight and yesterday we had 600 people that went through, it's just crazy. And the same skit over and over and over and over again with very, very, very limited breaks. Like a break, go to the bathroom if you can. And like I didn't because there's no time. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I, I I was pretty quiet when I was quiet when I was a little kid. And then like once I hit like mid to late high school, I became much more extroverted. Obviously being a teacher, you need to be somewhat extroverted. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess with the whole cancer crap, I, I, you know, I went through all the different stages of crap of acceptance and denial and blah, 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 whatever. Um, but I, I, I tried to go back and, or not tried, I did go back and do an episode of my talk show that I had, nothing to do with cancer whatsoever. Um, and I didn't like being in front of the camera, which is... <laughs> funny because <laughs> I didn't like being in front of the camera because my belly looks so big and now I'm in front of the camera with like makeup that's been on for, for like what now seven hours almost <laughs> and it's all like not symmetric and it, I just look like this <laughs> and I don't really care I <laughs> I, I had to leave pretty early, so they're like, eat dinner before you go, and I'm like, okay, so I go, in my forgetfulness, I go get pizza, and then where do I leave it? In my kitchen, which does not help me when I'm trying to have um, dinner before the show, but um, yeah, I got some buffalo chicken pizza, but I never actually ate it, so um, I don't know if you're even supposed to eat it if it's sitting out this long, whatever, I just did. Um, so I did an episode of Neighbors to Know just to like tell her, ooh, that's spicy, <sighs> just to tell everyone like, um, whew, uh, like what's been going on with me. I didn't want to be unprofessional because I kind of wanted that show to go someplace, like bigger picture of my life. And, um, I just wasn't ready for it with the brain fog I had been having, which I don't really have as much anymore. I mean, this isn't like a huge brain fog thing. Um, but I didn't feel comfortable interviewing someone because I didn't want to lose my train of thought in the middle of like having a deep conversation with someone. So I did a short Neighbors to Know to let people know like what had been going on with me. Um, mostly because so much time had passed by. Uh, I did a Neighbors to Know about like switching out the drains and stuff when I, um, shortly after my, my double mastectomy. But when I did the filming, I, I didn't feel... I felt like the message was right, and I, and I liked the, the verbiage of how things came out. But when I looked at myself in the studio, oh my gosh. I mean, here, again, <laughs> sans makeup. But, I, you know, I have my tripod. I can change angling and stuff. 
Um, I have actually lost a little bit of weight. That's only because I knocked my back out. Um, and I've been like ridiculous exercising to try to get my core in shape. Again, I don't think necessarily because of cancer. I think just because I'm getting older. Um, but I, I, I hated how I looked on, on camera for that neighbors to know. But neighbors to know is not about me. The whole point is it's about other neighbors, other people in the world that are doing good things. So I'm like, just, you know, let it be, have it be what it was. And then um, I've been having a really hard time lately juggling um, work life, going back to like, again, somewhat normalcy. Um, I'm working too much and it's, it's my, either my old age or my body is just not able to keep up with uh, I, the schedule that I created for myself that I thought would be like, oh yeah, I can do this. And then I'm like, oh my God, no, I can't. I can if there was like 40 hours in a day, but there's not. And I, I am I'm trying to get back to like life, like all the doctors and people tell me, just go back to life now. You know, surgery is over. My last loop run is this Friday. Woohoo! Well, hopefully, knock on pizza box, my last loop run is this Friday. Uh, we'll see what happens, how my body responds to it, and hopefully I'll be off for good. And in menopause, we shall see. Um, but I'm trying to like dip my toes in the water of like what Jenna was doing before my breast cancer diagnosis. And can I just like stop and then like, you know, did all the right things, taking care of myself the past two years. And then like, let's go back and, um, pick up where we were before, before the pandemic and before the breast cancer thing. And like, okay, let's zoom on out now. You know, it's kind of a pause in 2020 with the pandemic. 2021 was the cancer year. And then like now we're in 2023, so let's like move on over into Jen's next life adventure, whatever. But cancer changes you so much and like getting older changes you and certainly a pandemic changes you. So like, it's like, what you know, what, what does that life look like for me? I don't know. So I dip my toes in the water and see how I do. Um, I was not a fan of being in a TV studio doing an interview. Um, there actually was somebody who, who was a good friend of mine who I wanted to interview, but I just, um, I have like negative time to do it right now. Um, and it's weird cause like I, he's a, he's an awesome person and, and he does a, a great show at Bedford TV. And, and I think just as a person, he's just, um, it's very interesting to talk to. And I'd like to share that with people, but like, I just, I don't have the bandwidth to do that right now. So, um, I mean, when I edit, when I do the neighbors knows, I edit it myself. I pull together a production team. I do all the bells and whistles and stuff. It takes a lot of time. So I thought this haunted house thing, like I'm not in charge. Like I thought I had non-speaking lines <laughs> or no speaking lines. And I didn't, but which it's fine. I only had like, I don't know, five lines or so. And I thought it would be a nice way to step into like the world of being an extrovert and see how I do. So um, it was a nice little, uh, it's, it's, it's October right now. So like yesterday was Friday the 13th, so today's Friday or Saturday the 14th and we're close to Halloween. So Halloween's a kind of a nice time to go out and try to be someone that you either are or are not. Um, because of masks, and I don't even like the COVID mask. I mean, my mask was like here up, <laughs> um, just to just to go out and like do a thing, and kind of do it anonymously because there were four handmaidens, and um, there were friends of mine that I looked square in the eye, and they, they like just looked away. <laughs> they didn't know it was me. Um, so it's interesting, like you know, projecting and speaking loudly and being theatrical and stuff in front of people that even that people that you know, but because of your costume and masks and makeup and stuff, they don't know who you are. So it's almost like you're starting like this, you know, pretending to be somebody that, that you're not, but not in a bad way, just uh, in an acty way. So I had a good time um, overall. It was <laughs> it was exhausting, but a good exhausting. And um, I mean, obviously there were some tweaks to things that were related to the cancer stuff and my how my body's responded with treatments and stuff. 
and a lot and mostly other stuff that had nothing nothing to do with it and really had to do with the fact that I'm turning 52 in less than two months. Um, so I guess like that's kind of what, what the focus is on, like, you know, what, what, what the difference is and I mean, yes, obviously the treatments and stuff and the shots and all that crap and, and the meds, it, it all has side effects. And not everything that goes wrong with your body is a side effect. I am by no means negating side effects. You know, I've been having these discussions with um, oncology about my side effects and not really having them addressed as promptly as I would have liked. Um, but like a few things, like the memory stuff, you know, which I know that happens normally with old age anyway. I just noticed a, noticed a distinct relation with that after um, after the meds. And I don't know which med to blame for it. Um, if you're just tuning in, I'm on tamoxifen. Um, I have been doing the Lupron injections. Um, I think mean, there's other stuff, but nothing like super major. But there's ways to get around it like this kind of thing when you write you know words on here and stuff and you just gotta find um kind of ways to cheat around it <laughs> to to get you back to kind of where you were before um and again the not remembering stuff i don't want to be in the middle of interviewing somebody and then just like forget what i was talking about that's like unprofessional and not fair to the person and i, I just i just wouldn't do that i'm just not ready for, i'm just not ready for that at all right now um but my feet are killing me <laughs> um yeah my, my my feet hurt uh i wore i have i have these sneakers that have like a little heel and i remember when those kind of shoes came out i'm like why the hell would anyone want sneakers with a heel i totally understand now why people want that like you want a sneaker because it's comfortable um but you want where are they they're down there i can show you but the heel helps because I was having Achilles issues, which is definitely related to the tamoxifen. Um, oh yeah, there's my, my belly. Uh, <laughs> the tamoxifen definitely just tighten up your muscles and stuff. Um, I knocked my back out, almost going on right around two weeks now. Uh, standing is not so much a problem. It's the sitting and then getting up from sitting or mostly it's just staying in one position too long. Um, and I can't blame that on medication because shit like that happens. And, um, the lesson I learned is like, I guess I have to just start doing planks and do things to like strengthen my core, which I don't like working out, but my body's telling me that like, sister, <laughs> you have the body of an almost 52 year old woman. You need to start like taking care of it when you get to like a gym perspective. Um, these are the sneakers I'm talking about. Right now they have electrical tape on them because they had to be all black for my for my costume. Um, but yeah, they're, they're like sneakers. I don't even know what brand they are, but they're like sneakers. And uh, they just had a little bit heel to them. But like I said, right now they're covered in electrical tape from, um, there we go, from the show. So, if I pull that off, um, it has a little like a silvery thing on the end. And these are super handy because if I have a little bit of a heel, um, my Achilles does not bother me as much because the pressure is on the front of my feet and not in my heel. So um, these, like, why would you want sneakers with a heel? Because of Achilles issues. Um, I stood in those almost the, no, I stood in the entire time last night standing up and, um, didn't have any issues at all with my Achilles. I also have, um, compression socks on. I need to buy more compression socks. I have two pairs, um, but I have figs. They definitely do make a difference. Um, yeah, I had no issues really with my, um, between my knee and my foot today <laughs> but i think the compression socks definitely helps with that my knees are bothering me that has nothing to do with medication because all of us that <laughs> were in the room all of us our knees are bothering us from standing so freaking long <laughs> i mean it was great but like you had to stretch and move them and stuff and again that's not a cancer thing that's like jen you're in a almost 52 year old body jen so um oh i should quiet down we're at quiet hours right now um 
yeah. So, um, my belly, oh. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm gonna, um, like lose weight anyway, just because I, I am focusing more on my core to help with my back. I, I, I called about getting into physical therapy because I really did some number on my back. I've been working too much, I know. I'm trying to like, you know, go back to old Jen and it's just not, it's just not working. Um, like I, I have a part-time job and then I'm tutoring on top of that. But like the, the tutoring, I kind of blew up a lot this year and like took out a lot of kids and some material I haven't taught in a while. And um, I'm thrilled with like the non-brain fog that I can keep up with it like I used to and teach it well. It's just like, I, I can't, I love to, but I can't help every kid with math. I just, I, I'm one person and I, and I just can't, um, cause I noticed I was like hunching over so much when I was, um, when I was doing all my assignments and, or not assignments, but stuff to get ready for, um, my tutoring sessions. And I wasn't taking enough breaks. I wasn't changing position often enough. And, um, it was kind of gradual over two or three days, but like something happened in my back and, um, it was to the point where like, I could sit in a chair, but then like I couldn't get up. Like it was extraordinarily painful to get up. So I've been doing exercises or the best thing I can do. Walking has been helping. It's just the sitting to standing. And right now like, I'm sitting at my kitchen island. I don't remember the last time I sat at my kitchen island, but I just kind of plop myself here and hit record. So um, we'll see what happens when I go to get up. Um, but like I said, like part of that is medication related with my back because things just tighten up because of the tamoxifen. I know that that's a thing. And some of it is just because like, you know, people knock their backs out and can, you know, not do anything tremendous and they knock their back out. And now I'm just like every other person who's like my age that has that happen to them. And now I get it. And um, yeah, it's not even so much about the weight. It's about like, you know, I'd like to be able to sit in a chair and get up successfully and not have to look like I'm an eight-year-old woman while I'm doing it, you know? And it just means I have to start getting into shape a little bit better. Um, yeah, I got nothing else to say really about this because I had my my habit on, so I'm just gonna like leave the rest of that where it is. Um, but yeah, like, I, I mean, all of us were having like our, our feet hurt and our knees hurt and like things were popping and, all these things happen, you know, you knock your back out and stuff. And I ran into a friend of mine at the post office in line and she's a nurse and she was like, oh, you know, you can try this and this, this. I have my foam roller from um, my apartment. That was one of the key things I also took out when I had the flooding. Um, I, have a, I have a three foot tall, um, I don't know, circumference is about yay big or so, um, the foam roller for my back that I had from PT. Um, well, I used it when I was in PT after I had frozen shoulder after my double mastectomy and, um, it comes in handy when you knock your back out too. Um, and then you have to be kind to your body is like the biggest thing that I just stopped doing because I've just been running around trying to just be old Jen again and, and, and I'm not. So like, you know, who am I now? I don't freaking know. I don't, I don't know. I know that I'm working too much and I'm going to like we're in October, I'm gonna give it another month just to kind of like settle things down and then make some decisions because I can't keep up with, my body's telling me I, I can't keep up with this like, you know, plan that I made that, oh yeah, I'll go back and just work and do all these things. But then like, wait a minute, I'm not like sleeping enough and I'm not eating enough and I'm not exercising and I knock my back out because I'm not paying attention to my body. And that's one of the largest things I learned from this whole freaking process with this drama that I have to listen to my body. Um, and you don't have to give up everything too. I mean, like, you know, I did this. <laughs> I look so bizarro. Oh, this would be a great thumbnail. Although I don't know if I have red in my armpits from my shirt, from my handmaiden thing, because it was so hot and sweaty, but like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Neutrogena makeup wipes are very good for getting this kind of stuff off, but like my grays are coming back and stuff. Oh, you'll see me all dressed up for runway. 
in like a week and be like, oh, that's what Jen looks like. Because I, I think I know what dress I'm wearing. I have to go back because the dresses I tried on were all too small. It wasn't that great of an experience compared to my kids' experience at Lulu 11. Um, which I'm, I, I'm not sure if I can pull together in a vlog. I did a YouTube live about it. Um, if you caught that. But anyway. I have to like eat my pizza <laughs> and go to bed and relax and sleep. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to come on quick because I look like this and just wanted to grab your attention. Happy October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Wow. Uh, whatever. Like I'm, I'm kind of sick of talking about it all the time and like it's especially hard with like like, I'm looking at my fridge right now of the runway show thing coming up where it says, like, me and my kids' names are on there as models for this year. And it's all, like, glitz and glamour. And then, meanwhile, like, one of my, um, one of my oldest friends, um, like, I've known her a long time, not, like, old, old friends. Um, she just started chemo, which isn't marvelous. And another friend of mine, um, had her surgery and, um... She starts radiation as her next step in treatment, which sucks, and I feel for them. Um, and it's a it's a whole different place to be this far out. Um, yeah, there's still some like body weirdness going on because even when I tried my handmaid's thing on, she went to go button it and it was tight. And I'm like, I don't want to be uncomfortable with 1,500 people walking through. And then it's like, oh, you know, I don't think they would even know who I was anyway. But like, I just want to feel comfortable with it. I'm still not in a place where I feel comfortable with my body. Um, I don't know. It, it comes in like waves and stuff because they're just like, like when I went for the bra fitting, I felt all like pretty, whatever. And when I went to Lululemon, I felt really sexy in the top that they picked out. And, um, but then there are other days where I just, I just don't, because I don't recognize my body at all. Um, tomorrow, there's a walking, um, well, tomorrow, my time, not by the time I put this up. I'm so behind on my vlogs. Um, tomorrow, there's a, there's a fall foliage walk um, that the paving group is doing, which is great. Um, and if you're pretty fresh in this process, by the way, like, A, don't join Facebook groups about like breast cancer stuff because they're so negative they're so scary let's just say they're negative they're scary no one really says like about all the like nice things that will happen that sounds stupid as i'm saying that out loud i just mean like it, it's it's people complaining about all the worst case scenarios of things and that's like not a place to be in i really have not found any facebook group that's been helpful at all the uh the paving program itself I wasn't a huge fan of just because of the methodology or not methodology like the how how they teach it it's like a lot of powerpoints and stuff which I don't like it's like cancer school and, and that's not really what I wanted but the people that I met in that group um we still do zoom every other week just to catch up and that's like I love that but I wasn't ready for that for a very long time um, granted, I tried to get into, into paving like three times and it was, um, it was full or they forgot about me or whatever. It's like reason 25 why I need to, or want to switch oncologists so I, I, I'm not forgotten about and stuff. Um, all right. So I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> it's funny. Even as I look around my island, which is like a disaster right now, there is some normalcy coming back to my life. And it's kind of refreshing after all the shit that's been going on for the past, like, whatever it's been. Even, like, my bookcase, that was from my old apartment. Um, I hope it stays in one piece. <laughs> I just have to see how things go. I've been in this apartment, well, what, the flooding was in February, and now we're in October. So it's been eight months. Um, I'm still, I'm mostly unpacked. But just to see that brings some normalcy, although the books that are in the bookshelf... Um, many of them are not the same ones that I had because the other ones were kind of stinky after the flooding and stuff. Um, so I got rid of a bunch. But I look around my, <laughs> I look around my kitchen island and I'm like, 
this is relatively like a normal life of what I see in front of me right now. There's like a hair scrunchie and there's a calculator and there's, oh, my favorite erasers, but I use these for tutoring, but there's, these are awesome, awesome erasers. I have fraction circles on here, <laughs> a kindness rock, um, the one thing I guess I, I will say that either old age or um, or cancer related with the throwing the back out is I have this phone thing that I ran into a friend after I knocked my back out and um, she was in the parking lot while I was walking down to get dinner. <laughs> and she's like, I, was, I told her about my knocking my back out and I couldn't like really sit. And she's like, oh, you want this? I have it for my car. And she has like three others. So I, I use this to just like wedge it into a, into a seat to help your, uh, to help with lumbar support. Um, but I got like COVID tests in the mail cause the government's going to weigh those for free right now. And, um, and bills, which people, you know, I always have, um, and flowers too. Like I have a thing since I moved here that I always like have flowers, um, not really smelly ones cause they make me sneeze, but just to brighten up the, uh, the area a little bit, but everything here is just like normal stuff, you know, um, in a very abnormal world with a touch of cancer like things thrown in like this and like my black pen that has a little glitter on it. But this is what came with my, uh, my journal that said like, not today, Satan. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go eat. I just wanted to come on. It's been a while for me vlogging. Um, and with it being October, whatever, I'll be vlogging more. I mean, like Friday, like I said, is my next Lupron or my last, knock on wood, Lupron. Um, I was having wicked neuropathy in my hand this morning too. Um, and my finger's swelling, but that has nothing to do with cancer either. That has to do with like blood flow and getting older and whatever. Like it sucks getting older and like, I don't know, I've been like, I've, I've, I have a good life. <laughs> um, it's interesting just even as you're doing this haunted house thing and seeing all these people walk through and you see like older people and then you see like these little, little kids who are like three that go by and they're clutching onto their mommies and cause they're scared and stuff. And I'm like, oh, they're so cute and there's just been so much in my life, like, that's just been amazing. And so many things and gifts that have been given to me that I'm blessed to have. And, um, and I'm blessed to be here. You know, I've gone through a lot of shit and, um, I am here. <laughs> I look funky sometimes, but I had a good night and, um, yeah. Uh, and then runway is next week. It's October 26th. So uh, my kids will be walking down the runway with me, which will be awesome. And we will take pictures and I will post them. And then you can see them and see what I look like when I don't look like the haunted house Jen. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna go. Um, I don't have any big advice for you for today. Uh, just be kind to your body. And that's my advice for today. Be kind to your body. When your body is doing some weird ass shit, like pay attention, it's trying to tell you something and you need to listen to it. Because if it don't listen to it, then it's gonna tell you something like even more and possibly more like intensely. Um, Cause something's like, something's going on. You need to give it some TLC or like get shit like checked out, you know? All right, I will see y'all soon. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I do something scary, but like, <laughs> I look ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I gotta wipe this stuff off after I eat my buffalo chicken pizza. Till next time, bye.